for helping his handicapped sister. Leon has always been someone who believes in helping others, giving us an example of how heroes help. Leon McKinney with Heroes Help Others. Can you see the picture? Might have to stare a little bit here. This is a hero helping others. This, can you tell? Look at those four, five muddy urchins. <laughs> you see that? All right. Who's this cowboy here? Anybody know? This is Mr. Braden Dragoo, right here. I tell people I found him underneath a bridge, uh, and he's he needed a little cleaning up. Here's proof. Actually, what this is is a hero helping others. A week ago, Saturday, Brayden was a big buddy for these five children who lost a parent or a sibling going through some grief. So, pretty proud of that. Thanks for being a hero, my friend. So I would like to have you take a look at this picture. This picture is the cover of the book that I wrote. And there are 17 stories in this picture, 70 di different concepts. So I want to share a couple of those with you, kind of like a wine tasting, only this is going to be a book sampling. <laughs> Some great big things in here. The one that I had the artist do the most with are the three balloons. But there's 17 others, and they're subtle. So every time you go through a chat, I'll show you that, OK? How about this one? You ever experienced a stomping boot? I'm going to have to turn this a little so you can see it. All right, can you guys see it? What's a stomping? You see the boot stepped on a daisy? You ever been stepped on? Yes, you have. You know what it is? It's death. It's divorce. It's cancer. It's loss of dream, loss of job. It's your buddy not turning on the light when he's supposed to be timing you. There's no light. Light doesn't go on until you hit it. Ah. Well, it's your buddy telling you to watch it when it comes on. All right? So it's, uh, but it's all of those tough things in life. They are universal. Correct? So that's the stomping boot. How, the thesis of my book is how to live a hopeful, helpful life in the middle of a stomping boot world. So I'm going to take you to one of the principal concepts of how to have a joyful day. Anybody want to have a joyful day in here tomorrow? Raise your hand. No, you don't need to do that. <laughs> You'd be silly to say, oh, no, no, I want to be really depressed. You're not that kind of folks, or you wouldn't be here sharpening your saw to become better speak speakers, to do better in your chosen line of work, to use your gifts or somebody else, right? So what is the three balloons paradigm to a joyful day? Well, being a wine sampling of a book is going to be really quick this moment. It's fill up three balloons before you get out of bed. And this young man is a college student, hating to get out of bed in the morning. And the proposal is that when you do, the first thing you do is fill up these three balloons with these three ideas. The first balloon you fill up with this process. There's three to four things you're thankful for, you're grateful for, you're blessed by. You start your day off with a small seed of gratitude. Second balloon you're going to fill up. That's an interesting one. That's pretty simple. It's this question. You're going to fill up your balloon with a question. The question is, who can you help today? What, what is that? It's a seed of gratitude. A, I'm sorry, a seed of service. The gratitude was listening to things that we're blessed by and grateful for. Now we have a seed of service. What's the last seed you're going to put in this balloon? We're going to ask yourself, what are you excited about and looking forward to? And that will lead you to your natural gifts. It might be teaching fly fishing. It might be traveling the world over. Rick Steves took his passion and made an empire of joy for himself because he liked to travel. Uh-oh, well, let's taste another chapter. This one is called The Humor Being. Norman Cousins beat cancer with humor. But I like this story even better. This story is about 
Scott Hamilton, the Olympic skating champion. Now Scott was adopted. And the kids teased him. You're adopted, you're adopted. He came up with, so what? My parents chose me. Your parents were stuck with you. <laughs> Scott never grew. And when he is 11 years old, his parents are frantic. And finally the doctor says, take Scott down to my friend who owns a skating rink and just let him skate. And I don't know why he's so short. You could say the rest is history because all of a sudden he finds a passion. And by the time he's going to be Olympic champion, I'm sorry, not Olympic champion, but U.S. amateur champion, age 16, his mother has breast cancer and dies. How does Scott deal with that? He dedicates his, the rest of his skating career to helping his mom or to skating in the memory of his mom. And he goes on to Olympic gold. In the middle of that, his father dies. I'm sorry, his father has a stroke and almost dies. Scott goes on to win the Olympic gold, to come back and skate for holiday on ice, and then to get fired because of reverse discrimination. He's a boy, and they're going to go with the girls. That's what they tell him. So what does Scott do? He laughs at him, starts his own troupe, and two years later, the other troupe is out of business. But Scott then gets what? Testicular cancer? And how does he handle it? He becomes a humor being. And he puts smiley faces on the cancer pouches and he beats testicular cancer. Well, I've only had a chance to give you a little sample of three chapters out of the book. At this point, I want to give you an opportunity to be a hero. What's my definition of a hero? Hero is somebody who helps others. The program I started eight years ago has now raised a quarter of a million dollars for financially needy kids to go to college. We're expanding that. So I'm going to send out a challenge for 100 people to join at 10 cents a day. And if they do that, we'll raise 35,000 for needy kids to go to college. How do you do that? Well, you pledge 10 cents a day. So, if you decide to pledge 10 cents a day, a lot of stuff can happen with that dime for a kid. It'll cost you three bucks a month. Here's my deal for you. You get to keep this dime, you get the book, I'll give you a copy of the <laughs> colored poster, and no, you're not gonna get a Jinsu knife. <laughs> but you will help a kid, and you will become a hero because you put your arm in the water for kids that need it. Thank you very much.